Hi guys, it's Nat and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to focus solely on arms, specifically biceps. Now biceps is my most favorite body part to train. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 different exercises that's going to help you maximize your bicep day workout, that's gonna help you build bigger, more defined biceps, and basically that's gonna help you get that nice, great pump. These exercises range from beginner to advanced, and even if you are a beginner, no need to worry, I got you. These exercises are really easy to do. If you like what you see, hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button below. That way you can be notified when I upload more videos like these. All right, so without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so first exercise that we're doing, it's the standing alternating bicep curl, a classic exercise for a bicep day. Uh, so we're gonna do three sets. And if you're doing a lighter weight, I would suggest 16 to 20 reps, moderate weight, 10 to 14 reps, and heavier weight, six to eight reps. So this is a perfect exercise. It's a perfect uh, beginner and intermediate exercise. So what you're gonna go do, you're gonna go ahead and grab two dumbbells and you're gonna position yourself. So you're gonna have your feet about shoulder width apart and engage your core. Now I'm actually gonna pause for a little bit. So if you're a beginner, you're probably wondering, what the heck does she mean by engage your core? And even if you're used to working out, you probably heard that term over and over again, but you don't really know what it means to engage your core. So I have two tips to help you do just that. Uh, tip one, you could pretend that you're bracing for a punch and you're gonna bring your belly button right into your spine. Or tip two, just pretend that you have a string that starts right at your belly button and then it goes right through your spine and then tighten. <laughs> and then you're gonna pull that spring to tighten. So just visualize that if you can. So we're gonna go back to position, grabbing those two dumbbells. Again, have your feet about shoulder width apart. Engage that core, slightly bent knees to have a nice uh, solid foundation. Uh, your shoulder blades going back and nice, slow, controlled movements. You're gonna hold the bicep, you're gonna hold the dumbbell right here for a beat and then bring it down. Hold that dumbbell for a beat and then bring it down. So again, notice that my movements are nice, and controlled. You don't want to be like this. Okay, we're trying to avoid that. You don't want to be swinging back and forth. If you find yourself doing that, perhaps the weight is a little too heavy. Don't hesitate to just, you know, lower the weight, reduce the weight, just so you can do the exercise properly. You want to avoid all momentum here. You're just using those arms, strictly arms. Bringing one up, pause for a beat, and then bring it down again and don't forget to breathe. So if you are a beginner and you find yourself still rocking back and forth, what I would suggest is just standing on a wall as so. Gonna slightly bend those knees. Again, you're still engaging that core. Shoulder blades onto the wall as so. And then you're bringing up the dumbbells. That way, this forces your arms to bring up those dumbbells. You're eliminating all unnecessary muscular movement. It's just strictly those biceps that are being activated. Next up, we have the standing easy bar curl. And again, we're going to do three sets. If you're using a lighter weight, I would suggest doing uh, 15 to 20 reps moderate weight, 10 to 12 reps, heavier weight, six to eight reps. So again, this is a great exercise for a beginner or someone who's of an intermediate level. You're gonna go ahead and grab the easy bar and you're going to position your feet. So about shoulder width apart, same concept like the alternating bicep curl. So feet about shoulder width apart, slightly bend those knees, engage that core, shoulders back, and we actually have two different grips uh, for this one. So you can either choose to do a close grip, which activates the peak of the bicep. So the peak of the bicep, this right here. So you either have the close grip or you can do a wide grip just outside of your shoulders and that activates the inner head of the biceps. So I'm just simply going to do a neutral grip here just for demonstration purposes. All right, so make sure that you are in correct position and then you're going to bring the easy bar up, 
Pause here for a bit and then slowly bring it down. Nice, slow, controlled movements. And again, don't forget to breathe throughout. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just as I mentioned in the last exercise, you don't wanna do this. <laughs> We're not doing this, guys. You don't wanna rock back and forth. Again, if you find yourself doing that, don't be afraid to reduce the weight. That just means that's a little too heavy for you. Uh, reduce the weight, find the appropriate weight, and then do the exercise again. Definitely want to avoid ego lifting. We wanna prevent injuries. We wanna be fit and healthy, but we wanna be safe as well, okay? So again, nice and controlled. No momentum here. And then slowly down, bring it up. Really activate those biceps here. All right, guys, next up, concentration curls. For this exercise, we're going to do three sets on each side. If you're using a lighter weight, let's do 16 to 20 reps on each side, moderate weight, 10 to 14 reps on each side, and if you're using a heavier weight, six to eight reps on each side. Uh, so this is a great exercise if you're a beginner, intermediate level, or advanced. All right, so you're gonna set up, you're gonna sit on a flat bench. Right now, I'm sitting on this makeshift bench, <laughs> but you'll sit on a flat bench, a flat surface, your free hand goes on your knee, as so. Go ahead and grab this dumbbell. So the arm holding the dumbbell, you're going to extend it. Your elbow is going to touch the center of your inner thigh. Position yourself. And then from here, you're gonna slowly bring that dumbbell up, pause at the top, and then slowly bring it down. Bring that dumbbell up, pause, and don't forget to breathe. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. So guys, I really love concentration curls. They're amazing because they stimulate the peak of the bicep. And this right here is the peak of the bicep. Great, great bicep activation. Now, if you are a beginner, I would strongly suggest that you go with a lighter weight. I mean, if you're advanced, you're more than welcome uh, to use heavier weights. Um, but the major reason why I suggest going light with these or light to moderate, and personally me, I go moderate with these. I don't even go heavy. But the major reason why is, especially if you're a beginner, you might subconsciously drop the dumbbell. So you bring it up and then you might subconsciously just lunge forward, just erratically, just bringing that dumbbell. So that's why it's safer and just better to go lighter because if you do just jerk your arm down that way um, you might hyperextend your elbow and you will injure uh, the joints and ligaments on the front of the elbow so just be very cautious and be mindful of that try to prevent doing that when you're doing this exercise so again you're bringing that dumbbell up slowly and controlled bring it down bring that dumbbell up and then slowly controlled bring it down And another reason why concentration curls are awesome, uh, they eliminate the shoulder shifting that would typically happen when you're doing traditional um, standing bicep curls. All right, next exercise, cross body hammer curls. Again, we're doing three sets. If you're using a lighter weight, 16 to 20 reps. Moderate weight, we're gonna do 10 to 14 reps. Heavier weight, six to eight reps. I'm gonna go ahead and grab two dumbbells and you're gonna position yourself. You're gonna have your feet about shoulder width apart. Engage that core. Bend those knees slightly, shoulders back. So while it's not going to be like a regular bicep curl, what you're doing here, you're bringing the dumbbell across your body palms are facing inward they're facing your chest and then you're bringing it back down again repeating the other side again palms facing the chest and then down don't forget to breathe breathe in through your nose 
out through your mouth. So again, notice how my movements are nice, slow, and controlled. And I really, really like <laughs> this exercise. I feel like it just really maximizes your arms, it really builds thicker arms, brings you that nice pump for your bicep day workout. Things you want to avoid when you're doing this exercise. So there might be a tendency to have your elbows separate from your torso. You don't wanna just do this you know, you can really injure your shoulders that way. Let me just demo it another way. You don't want to just bring the arms up. Nope, you want to keep it nice and controlled. Only moving those forearms. So again, I'll demo that again with the dumbbells. Really try your best to keep those elbows tight and close to your torso. That way it allows for maximum bicep activation. All right, next exercise, we have the ISO bicep curl. Again, doing three sets. If you're using a lighter weight, we're going to do uh, 16 to 20 reps on each side. Moderate weight, we're going to do 10 to 14 reps on each side. Heavier weight, six to eight reps on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and grab two dumbbells. Position yourself, feet about shoulder width apart. Engage that core, bend those knees slightly. So with the ISO bicep curl, you have one arm bent as so. You really wanna keep the elbow close to your torso and you're just holding the dumbbell out. If you can, try to create a nice 90 degree angle or as close to a 90 degree angle if you can. So the entire time of the exercise, you're holding out your arm as so and with the other arm, you're going to do a traditional bicep curl. Nice, slow and controlled. Bringing that dumbbell up, pause for a beat, and then bringing it down. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now, ISO bicep curls, another great one for bicep activation. So what the ISO bicep curl does, with this arm that's frozen in time, it increases the time that your muscle is under tension. So it quote unquote pre-exhausts your muscle. And what's that doing? It's increasing your strength gains. So a phenomenal exercise for your bicep day. And again, with this one, you really want to prevent momentum. You really don't want to swing. That would be really painful because you have your arm just frozen in time. It's just suspended in the air. So really try your best. Really be conscious that you're not using momentum. You're just having nice controlled movements. Bring that dumbbell up, really relying on your core to keep your body nice and steady. And engaging your core is providing you with a nice solid foundation. And then switching sides. Again, create a nice 90 degree angle. Holding out your arm, elbow close to your sides. So guys, if you still find yourself swinging while you're doing the ISO bicep curl, no worries. You can always use the wall trick that I mentioned in the first exercise of this video in the alternating bicep curl. You basically have your back up against the wall, bringing your arm up, elbow close to your torso. The other arm, you're doing that traditional, nice controlled bicep curl. But the only difference, your back is up against the wall. And by doing that, you're eliminating that momentum and you're just relying on strictly your biceps to do the movement. 
All right, so next up we have Zotman curls. And this exercise, I'm actually going to put it under the advanced category. Um, so if you're using moderate weight, we can do 10 to 12 reps. If you're using heavier weight, six to eight reps. We're going for four sets for this exercise. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab two dumbbells. Position yourself, feet about shoulder width apart. You're still engaging that core, shoulders back, knees are slightly bent. So the way you begin the exercise, Arms extended down, palms are facing outward. Your elbows are tucked into your torso. Bring the dumbbells up, and while your elbows are tucked uh, into your torso, you're going to twist those wrists, palms facing outward, and then bring the forearms down, and that completes the movement. So again, slowly, palms facing outward. Bring the dumbbells up, palms facing outward, and then bring them down again. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. So I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. So if you have weaker elbows, if you probably have some elbow issues, I would suggest just dropping the weight a little bit, go a little lighter than you typically would. So Zotman curls, are great because they don't just work out your biceps, they also build those forearm muscles as well. All right, next exercise, we have bent over concentration curls. And this exercise, I'm also going to put under the advanced category. Uh, for this one, we're gonna shoot for four sets on each side. If you're using a lighter weight, we can do 16 to 20 reps on each side. Moderate weight, we can do 10 to 14 reps on each side and then a heavier weight, six to eight reps on each side. So the reason why I like to consider this exercise to be an advanced exercise is because you really need to make sure that you're maintaining a strong spinal position when you're bending over. I'm gonna go ahead and demo that for you. This one, you wanna start off with a pretty wide stance, a little bit wider than shoulder width. And to ensure that you're maintaining that strong spinal position when you're bending over, um, a tip I like to tell folks, Really puff that chest out, exaggerate it. Puff that chest out, and while it's still puffed out, you're going to slowly bend over. And while you're bending over, like pretend that you're hiking a football. Imagine the glutes are sticking out, you're bending over, that free hand is right on top of your knee, the arm that's holding the dumbbell, the elbow is right on the center of your inner thigh and you're going to lift up that dumbbell, hold for a beat, and then slowly bring it down. Nice, slow, controlled motions. Don't forget to breathe, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now with this one, guys, you really wanna make sure that you're not hunching forward. I mean, if you're hunching forward, um, you really don't have much room to lift the dumbbell, and you can also cause strain in your lower back. Um, don't want that at all. So this is what you want to avoid. You don't want to just hunch forward, and you don't want to let your uh, core collapse. So you don't want to be like this, so you can see how awkward that is, and it's just not working for me at all. So again, if you find yourself um, losing that stance, losing that position, you feel that your core is collapsing, simply stand up, you're gonna reset, puff that chest out, Keep it exaggerated, puff it out, and then you're going to bend over, stick the glutes out, facing forward. You want your belly to be parallel to the ground. And you're going to lift, hold it for a beat, and then down. Again, another great way to maximize the peak of your biceps. All right, next up we have kneeling single arm bicep curls. And this is another exercise that I'm gonna put under the advanced category. For this one, we're gonna shoot for four sets at each side. Um, if you're using a lighter weight, we're gonna do 16 to 20 reps on each side. Moderate weight, uh, 10 to 14 reps on each side. Heavier weight, six to eight reps on each side. Now, the reason why I consider this to be an advanced workout, and you'll see when I demo, uh, you have to really make sure that you're not shifting your arm back, 
your arm has to be super stationary and the only thing that you're moving are, uh, is your forearms and you'll see in a bit. So your starting position, you have one leg up bent, the free hand is going to be on the knee here and then the arm holding the dumbbell is shooting straight up to the ceiling. So it's not bent at all, shooting straight up to the ceiling. And the reason why we're doing the opposite hand, opposite leg, it's another way to also um, activate your obliques. So that's the bonus. So we're not just working the arms, we're activating the obliques too with this exercise. So again, the arm holding the bicep, it's shooting up to the ceiling. And the only thing you're moving are your forearms. So this will definitely burn. This is definitely testing your stability strength here. So typically folks will do this exercise with cables, cable machine, but this just makes it a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging. So this is what you want to avoid when you're doing this exercise. You don't want to just, because there's, you know, there's a tendency to do that, just having your shoulders swing backwards like that because like the weight is just too heavy, it's just too much. So you're just swinging back. So you definitely wanna avoid doing that. So again, arm is shooting straight up to the ceiling and you're just bending the forearm and then back again. All right, so we're going to the other side. That free leg is bent, free hand on the knee shooting that arm straight into the ceiling and then bending the forearms. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, so next up we have push-up position hammer curls. And this is another exercise that I'm going to put under the advanced category. So for this one, we're going to shoot for three sets. If you're using a lighter weight, uh, we can do 16 to 20 reps. Moderate weight, we can do 10 to 14 reps. Heavier weight, six to eight reps. Now, the main reason why I consider this to be an advanced exercise is because this is another two for one special. Not only does this exercise uh, challenge your core stability, it also challenges your bicep strength. So you're gonna go ahead and grab two dumbbells, go into a push-up position. So you're going into a push-up position. You're, we're not doing any push-ups, just a push-up uh, push position, excuse me, high plank. You wanna make sure that you're engaging that core, making sure you're bringing that belly button uh, to your spine. And then from here, you're gonna bring one dumbbell up into a hammer curl and then bring it down. Repeat on the other side. So you really don't wanna speed through these. You don't wanna just do that because you're not really activating your biceps and you wanna make sure that your core is nice and tight. You don't wanna rock left and right. So again, you're going into a high plank and the wider your base, you'll notice I have um, a pretty huge gap <laughs> between my toes. So the wider the base, the easier it is. Bring it a little bit narrow, makes it a little bit more challenging. But just for demo purposes, I'm going to widen my base here. Breathing in and out. Bring one dumbbell up. And then the other one up as well. All right, next exercise, we have power jack curls, and I'm going to consider this an advanced exercise. Uh, we're gonna shoot for three sets. If you're using a lighter weight, we can do 15 to 20 reps, moderate weight, 10 to 12 reps, heavier weight, six to eight reps. Now, the main reason why I consider this to be an advanced exercise is because if you're a beginner, there's just a lot going on. You have jumping involved, and as you're jumping, you have to make sure that you're doing your bicep curls simultaneously. And when you're doing that, you have to make sure that you're maintaining a perfect form. So this is why I consider this to be an advanced exercise. So we're gonna go right into it. You're gonna start off with a wide stance. Um, your stance is gonna be a little bit wider than shoulder width. Going ahead and grabbing the dumbbells. So super wide stance, your palms are facing outwards, they're facing um, in front of you. Going down, 
and then you're bringing the feet together and simultaneously you're doing your bicep curl. So I'm going to do that in slow motion again. Bring the feet out, palms are facing outward, feet together, bicep curl. So not only is this um, getting that heart rate up, have a little cardio action in there, but it's definitely um, working those biceps. So again, in slow-mo. So let's speed it up a little bit. Even if you're feeling fatigued, make sure that those arms are super extended. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't be shy, drop some comments below. If there are any uh, workouts, exercises that you'd like me to feature or showcase, let me know, I'd be more than happy to do that for you all. Please like the video and also share with your friends and family and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, see you guys soon.